It's the Absolutely Mindy Show on Kids Place Live. And although we are all pretty much under some sort of a stay-at-home order from our governments, um, I am seeing lots of opportunities to still get outside while social distancing. I, I know over here we've been riding bikes, we've been riding scooters, we've been going on walks and runs. But um, a lot of people are getting out in nature. And I've got two cool things that I have uh, learned from some of you over this last uh, couple of days, things that you have found in nature. So if you get a chance to go on a little nature hike, keeping a safe distance from others, I would love for you to put your nature eyes on and keep an eye out for amazing wildlife because it is out in full force. We went for a hike a couple of weeks ago and found a snake. Snake. I was crossing a creek or about to cross the creek and this snake, a large snake, I think it was like a water moccasin. Was it a water moccasin? I don't know. Some dad, one of our dads was able to figure (laughs) out what it was. But anyway, anywho, I don't know what the snake was, but it was uh, scary and it was slithering through the creek and I had to wait for the snake to pass before I could. Um, We just got a message from the Webb family that they were on a little hike. And do you know what they saw, Tori? What did they see? They saw a bald eagle (gasps) in her nest feeding her little eaglets. (gasps) Whoa! Can you imagine? This is free entertainment. They were just outdoors on a little hike. If you ask me, this is better than going to a movie. This is amazing. Yeah. They saw an actual bald eagle feeding her little eaglets. So I wonder if bald eagle mothers feed their babies the way a lot of birds do, where they bleh, 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 yeah. and they they kind yeah. of up chuck into their babies' mouths. Uh huh. Yeah, there's a lot of animals that do this. Even the Bats majestic eagle. Bats? We just did an episode. We just did an amazing episode of Wow in the World on this. In fact, it's the episode is out this week. It's called Ah Bats, and uh, and it's about how bats, you know, what's the what, vampire be- bats feed exclusively on blood, right? That's what they eat. They eat blood, and then they will share that blood with other bats in their families, and sometimes not in their families. And the way they do this is they will. Barf the blood up oh. into other bats' mouths. Gross! Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. These are vampire bats. So check it out. It's our episode of Wow in the World. You can find it wherever you get podcasts or wowintheworld.com. Um, it's my podcast, my science show that I do with my buddy Guy Raz in addition to this show. And it is super fun. And I got to say, if you're distance learning, this could be your um, your daily or weekly science uh game we also have a game show that's up on the same feed called two what's in a wow so you can check that out and test your science knowledge but that's not what i'm talking about here today i'm talking about these stories of things that you all have seen in the wild on your hikes i got another story from mom leah who was sitting on in her backyard she was just sitting on her deck and she kept noticing this little squirrel running past with little puff balls in its mouth. And it would run past and it had a puff ball in its mouth and then it would go drop the puff ball somewhere, she didn't know, um, and then she would run back, or the, the, the squirrel would run back, come back again with a little puff ball in its mouth. And it did this like three or four times and she realized that those little puff balls, Tori, were baby squirrels. <gasps> that the mother squirrel had in her mouth. And she was, I guess, moving them to a safer location. Or, um, or no, she was, I guess, move, putting them in their squirrel's nest. And then Leah went over and she saw these little mouths <gasps> inside this little nest peeping their little heads up. Little baby squirrels. Baby squirrels. So, you know, as soon as I heard the story, what I had to do, right? Adopt baby squirrels? I had to go Google, g- Google up baby squirrels. <gasps> <gasps> I want one, but I'm not going to have one because they belong in nature. I didn't realize until now that I have no idea what a baby squirrel even looks like. Well, they look like baby squirrels. They look like little teeny, teeny, tiny squirrels. They are so stinking cute. And then it reminded me that I have not seen our squirrel lately because absolutely Mr. took down the bird feeders because... Now everything's popping up at the ground and the plants will feed the the birds. But um, we had this little 
squirrel, we ended up naming it Little Porker, and he would climb up the uh, the bird feeder pole and then ricochet off the baffle onto another bird feeder. It was a very determined squirrel all day long, all day long. The whole thing, the only thing the squirrel did was dedicate his little life to getting into our bird feeders, and, and our family was divided on it. I can't believe that absolutely Mr. has taken away this source of wholesome entertainment from us. I know, and it, it is true, you know, if we plant pollinator plants outside, um, then, you know, that's going to feed the birds and the butterflies and the bees, and but, uh, the little porker, he just wanted some, some gourmet bird food, and now, I don't know where he's getting it. How is he going to stay porky? I don't know. I don't know, but I haven't seen him out there. I'm going to... I'm going to put the bird feeder back up. I miss little porker. Anywho, if you get a chance and um, you can go on a little nature walk with your family, I mean, these things can happen in your backyard. They can happen outside of your window, or they can happen on a trail in nature. If you can safely get outside away from other people, put your nature eyes on and report back what you find. All right, we'll be right back. It's the Absolutely Mindy Show on Kids Place Live.